What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Throat Spray Konomo O team alongside with the Wellspring Ogre Pond squad for you guys on the casual ladder today. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know what all of my videos go live. But Konomo is going to be our first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. It is a fighting and dragon type with bulletproof and throat spray as its item. If you guys do not know what this item does, if you use a sound based move you will actually get a plus one special attack boost. Which is really good pairing up with Konomo because it has a signature move of Clangorous Soul. If you guys do not know what that move does, it gives you a plus one on all of your stats but at the cost of one third of your HP. So setting up that move, kind of hard, but if you can pull that off, you get a crazy stat boost alongside with the third spray uh, item. It will pop and you'll get an extra special attack boost. So Konomo'o just basically becomes unstoppable after that. Its other three moves consist of clanging scales, protect, and a roar sphere for stab. In our second slot, it's going to be Iron Hands. Iron Hands is a great Pokemon at helping Konomo'o set up its clanger soul because it has the move Fake Out. It also has Wild Charge, Drain Punch, and Heavy Slam with the Assault Vest as its item. In our third slot, we got Sinistra, the brand new Pokemon which is an amazing healer within this game. It's got the new ability Hospitality, alongside with the Rocky Helmet as its item, and then a great move set of Rage Powder, Macha Gacha, Strength Sap, and Trick Room. In our fourth slot, we got an Intimidate Pokemon with Hisuian Arcanine. It's got Citrus Berry, alongside with the move set of Rock Slide, Flare Blitz, Protect, and Extreme Speed for a first turn priority. In our fifth slot, we got Clefairy. Just like Iron Hands, it's a great Pokemon of helping Konomo'o set up because you can just go into Follow Me and just outbulk all the shots. It's got Friend Guard, the Evo Light, and then Helping Hand, Dazzle Gleam, after you, and like I already mentioned, Follow Me. In our final slot, is going to be Wellspring Ogre Pond. I only showcased the Fire Ogre Pond on the channel, so this one's going to be cool actually using this Pokemon. It's got Ivy Cudgel alongside with Sword Sands, Horn Leech, and Spiky Shield for a great move set. Guys, you want to match the scene for yourself? Mount Dakota's at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Throat Spray Konomo O team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Trick Room team right here, right? Most likely. They got Snorlax, they got Sinistra, they're also rocking out with Blood Moon, Ursaluna, and then last but not least, they got the Torkoal, Slowking, and Iron Hand. So they got two Pokemon that can pop Trick Room Slowking and Sinistra. And what I'm thinking here is I lead my Sinistra reading that they're going into a trick room and pop a trick room myself so that's really what i want to do alongside with going into konomo i really like that just in case they get off trick room i am going to bring out the iron hands and last but not least we can bring in the wellspring ogre pond cool about it i'm all about it but yeah i definitely think they lead either slow king or even sinistra alongside with maybe fake out iron hands right and then just fake out try to pop trick room and kind of go from there it makes the most sense it does make the most sense. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. But my plan here is for them to pop Trick Room. I'm going to pop Trick Room as well. Get off my Clangor Soul. Have my Konomoto boost it. And then go from there. I do like that. I actually probably should have went more on the Clefairy side. I probably should have led Clefairy. It probably would have been better to lead Clefairy. Just follow me shots. Set up the Clangor Soul. And then swap into... The hospitality on the uh, Sinistra, get HP back for Konomo'o, and then at the same time, I can just protect and trick room to get rid of the trick room. That would actually be better. I should have thought of that, but still. They're going to end up going into Iron Hands and Sinistra, so they're, they're definitely looking to pop trick room. They're definitely looking to pop trick room. So from here, oh, you're going to boost your energy. Is that the defense boost? Attack boost. You're looking scary, man. I don't like you. You're scaring me, man. So from here, I am just going to pop Trick Room just to cancel that Trick Room. And then from here, I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to protect you. Because again, if I had to guess, like I said, it's Fake Out Trick Room on their end. And if I can cancel that Trick Room, that could be pretty good for us. There's the Fake Out Blockage. And show me some Trick Rooms. Show me some Trick Rooms. Let's see what's going on here. So... They're definitely popping Trick Room because my Trick Room went first. So, <laughs> they're pop and Trick Room it always goes last. So, I pop Trick Room and I cancel out the Trick Room. Cool. So, awesome. So, we do that. That's a smart little play for us. And from here, uh, we can just go a nice little Clangor Soul here. 
Alongside with Rage Powder, I could also Strength Sap you. But I think just going into a Rage Powder here is definitely a play. Hmm. Is that what I want to do? Kind of annoying me right now. Because they pop another trick room. You know what? Yeah, we're just going for Rage Powder. Here. We're just going for Rage Powder. We got to try to set up the Clangor's Soul. So we Rage Powder out here. We're going to go for the Clangor's Soul. We're going to get all the stat boosts. We're going to get plus one on every single stat. And then Throw Spray is going to boost. So attack boost. Defense boost. Lovely special attack boost. What else we got cooking? Special defense boost. Nice little speed boost. <laughs> and then Throw Spray. Is gonna pop. Forgot about the one third HP drop right there. There it goes. The one third HP drain punch is gonna come into the Sinistra. We block it. And are you popping another trick room? You are. That's that's fine. That's fine. Cause we're gonna play this one real slow. We're gonna play this one real slow. Cause from here, I'm gonna pop another trick room. And I'm just gonna protect you. I'm just gonna protect my boy right here. But chances are the Iron Hands is going to attack me. The Sinisha might go for a Rage Powder. Might do all that stuff. But we're going to try to cancel that trick room again. So we'll play this one nice and slow. Try to go slow pace here. Get after it. And out comes a Macha Gacha. So Macha Gacha, not going to do anything crazy to my boy right here. And if I had to guess, he's probably ripping a Drain Punch or something into my Konamo'o. And that's the reason why I protect him. And of course you get the burn. Of course you get to burn all my uh, Sinistra, that's layers. And now you end up heavy slamming into him. And luckily I'm able to eat it. So wow, we just missed a free turn, which kind of sucks. But Rocky Helmet gets after it. So now I trick him again. So now I trick him again just to cancel out trick him. And I think from here our best bet would actually be to Strength Sap. The, uh, strength Sap this guy right here. Just to get some HP back. And then go into a Clanging Scales. Looking to just rip up some damage, right? Let's do it. So Clang of Scales comes out here with plus two on that special attack, and that is a huge chunk of damage considering it is a double hitting move. Strength Sap's gonna come out here. We're gonna put this thing down, minus one on attack, but more importantly, get a huge chunk of HP back, which we love. So I can see them going for yet another Trick Room, and now back up to full HP. Heavy Slam coming out here, we're able to soak, which is beautiful. And he goes for a Macha Gacha. I'm cool with that. So we canceled out Trick Room. We, we, we like you not having Trick Room. So do not burn me, please. Okay, cool. It's not burning me. So from here, I'm thinking just hard swap the Sinistra now. Right? Yeah, we got to hard swap the Sinistra. So we can get his Hospitality ability later in the match. And go into Wellspring Overfund. So... Ooh, that's a, and then just uh, keep spamming these Clanger Souls, right? Yeah, just keep, let's just keep chunking up damage, because I believe if this one lands, it's a double KO. So I might as well hard swap, have that Hospitality ability in the back end if need be. I can always heal up Konomo'o, and just go into a very strong Pokemon within the Wellspring Ogre Pond. So we canceled out Trick twice. Twice. So that was a big plays for me. Big plays from Jeans. Big, big plays from Jeans. The first one we read, and then the second one was just like, okay, let's just protect our boy, try to cancel that trick room again, and kind of go from there. A hot start for us, and now Konomo'o is just ripping. I know it is minus on defense due to that move, but still, we're special attacking, we're just looking to just send moves out. They end up going into their final two Pokemon, first one is going to be Torkoal, and the next one is going to be the bear, Ursula Luna, Blood Moon Ursula Luna. So they don't have trick room out, speed is our best friend. Um, I think from here we just Terra and we go for an Ivy Cudgel, right? Even though the sun's out, I just think we try to get rid of Torkoal. Torkoal's a bigger problem than anything. So I'll go into Torkoal, and on top of that, I'm just going to Clangris uh, Scale or Clang Scales again. Just to get off as much damage as I possibly can. So again, even in the sun, I feel as this water move is still going to hit like a truck, considering we have the Embody Aspect ability, and that will actually give us that plus one attack. Yo, know, that looks sick. That looks tough. I love it. I love it. So there's the Embody Aspect, Ivy Cudgel, ready to get after it. Are they going to Terrasalize themselves? Potentially, right? They do. And who is it going to be? I feel as it's going to be more so Ursaluna than the Torque, right? And yeah, I am correct on that. But Ursaluna comes out here with the Fairy Terror, and that's a money terror considering I'm rocking a Dragon move. But I do have Heavy Slam on my uh, Iron Hands, which is lovely. But still, we should be able- Oh. 
the plays. I was gonna say we should just be able to get rid of Torkoal, but that's a beautiful play right there. That's a beautiful play. Protect, I get no damage off, and they get the terror perfectly. That's great plays from opponents. Great plays from opponent. Ivy Cudgel's gonna do nothing, and Ursuline, what are, can you just take out my Konomo? I'd rather have my, I'd rather have my Ogre Pond in this situation. <clears throat> Blood Moon comes out here, and yeah, he's gonna take out my Ogre Pond. Well, not my Ogre Pond, he's gonna take out my Konomo. So from here, we can now go, do we go Sidisha? No, we're now gonna go into Iron. And I think we just fake out the Torkoal, right? I think we just Ivy Cudgel and we fake out the Torkoal. So I'm not sure if Ivy Cudgel is going to KO, so I, I don't I don't want Torkoal getting off turn. So let's see what he ends up doing. Hopefully he just protects the Ursa when I'm thinking that we're going into him. Because he just protected the Torkoal, so I'd rather just get after it. So we're going to fake out the Torkoal here. Ivy Cudgel comes out here. Plus one boost. I don't care that the Sun's here. This thing hits pretty hard. Let's see if it KOs. It does not. It does not. So that's exactly why we faked out. Just in case. Hyper Voice flies through here. We're able to soak pretty well. And I'm going to flinch on top of that. So from here, I'm just going to drop another Ivy Cudgel. And I can now go into Heavy Slams into the bear. Because it is a fairy type now. Okay. So the sun definitely helping him out. Another Ivy Cudgel can KO. And I think he might just protect Torkoal in that case. And that's okay. Because if you protect Torkoal, I don't see you KO my... Ogre Pond unless you target it down, but in that instance, we get off a nice big time heavy slam. Well, cool, the Protect doesn't come out. We're gonna finish off the Torkoal. Wabam! And we'll pretty much wrap up this match, but yo, what a first match! What a first match! We got everything going on. We got the Konomo'o ripping, we got Sinisha countering Trick Room, we got my boy Ogre Pond ripping up some damage, but that was actually a rather big soak. That was actually a rather big soak from that Pokemon right there. And from here, I'm just going to go into a Horn Leech. A little Horn Leech, and on top of that, I think we just... I think Wild Charge might do more damage, because Heavy Slime's based on the weight. So I'm just going to go into a Wild Charge here. This match is actually coming down to it. Oh, nope, they canceled battle. Cool, I'll take that all day. 1-0 to get things started. Like I said, that first match was awesome. Let's hop into a second. Let's go back to back. Second match is on its way, and we're going up against a Wind Rider Sif Tree team, alongside with Tornadus to pair up with the Wind Rider ability of Sif Tree, and then they got the Tatsugiri, Don Dozo, and then Double Ghost type with the Flutter Me and the uh, the Golden Go. But first match went perfectly. We outplayed our opponent. It was a solid match all around. We countered Trick Room. We got kind of Mo ripping. But the second match seems like it's going to be a bit tougher. Right, I mean, Wellspring Ogre Pond is going to be great. It's going to be super effective on the Don Dozo if it's there. Plus, its speed is rather high. If it's anything like the other one. Yeah, it's beautiful speed. 154 with a great attack stat. But who should we go into here? We might just want to pop a Trick Room with you. So I might lead... I might lead you right here. I might lead these two. Because if I had to guess, you're going to go Tornadus, right? And maybe alongside with the, the uh, Wind Rider. So if I could just fake out somebody... Pop a Trick Room and take speed from there. I'm really going to like that. So from here, we're going to bring Ogre Pond in the back end. And last but not least, we are just going to... Do I want to bring this thing? Actually, yeah, I do. I do have a Steel Terror type, which could be pretty solid. Could be pretty solid. Actually, no. You you really don't thrive here, Konomo. Oh, we're going to bring Arcanine. Because it's just going to be a little bit better. Because just think, if Konomo is going up against Fluttermane, we can't hit it with a Fighting Move. We can't hit it with a Dragon Move. It's like, come on, man. We need, we need somebody better. So Arcanine is going to be perfect. We got some uh, nice moves with the Rock Side and Flutter Blitz. We deal with Pokemon like Flutter Mane. Plus our typing really counters it. It's uh, Resist Fairy. Oh yeah, we got to showcase Konomo pretty well match number one. So I I'm content with not bringing it in here match number two. Looking for this uh, victory. We got the Ogre Pond on the team. Love it. And Tornadus and Sift Tree does come out here. So this works out. Perfect. I can go for the fake out into the shift tree slot, and on top of that, I can just pop a nice lovely trick room. The trick room comes out here. We're making some nice reads right off the rip. We really are. Do I read that this thing protects? I could. I could read that this thing protects. And just wild charge into this slot. But just in case it doesn't, let's go into it. And no, you're just gonna fake me out. I forgot you learned fake out. That's kind of funny. <laughs> and it is orbed. 
I'm gonna flinch. And you end up just dropping a bleak when storm turn one. So I'm able to survive, that's pretty big for me. And I get off this trigger. So speed drops, that's totally fine. I don't mind speed drops, because trick him's out and about. So I trick him up here, um... Hmm. And I think my best play would be to probably just like strength zap you to get some HP back. And at the same time, which KO shift tree? Yeah, we can uh, drain punch KO you. It ends up withdrawing shift tree, that's kind of tough. And it's gonna go into a ghost type, aren't you? He got... Oh, God. Man, my... come on, man. Come on, that, that really sucks, man. Great plays from our opponent. Just swapping perfectly. And I was just gonna wild charge drop. The what's it called? I was just gonna wild charge drop the Tornadus, but I want to get the strength set so I can get some HP back. Here's the soul. Here's the soul. Another bleak wind storm comes out here. Sinisha, dodge it. I think that's Sinisha. It's pretty big that Sinisha just dodged that. So I get the big time dodge. Trick Room turns are being wasted. And from here, we can just... Do we Rage Powder? Or we could Hard Swap. What could you be going into? We could go into Arcanine here. Which I like Arcanine. What's your speed though, Arcanine? That's the question. This Trick Room is out and about, and they did not pop the one. That's not too bad. You know, yeah, we're gonna go into Arcanine here. We're gonna save Sinistra for the back end. And on top of this, now we're just going to go into Wild Charge in this slot. Solid swaps from our opponent. They could be going into Make It Lanes. It is a little scary. And I'm going to pop into this Pokemon. I know I am going to Intimidate and they're both special attackers, but I want to just swap with Sinistra. So from here, Wild Charge is going to get Cook in here. There's a KO. It does indeed. But we are going to take some mean recoil damage. And chances are, Golden Go is probably popping to Make It Rain. And it's going to KO my Iron Hands. Let's see. No, it's going to Nasty Plot up. Okay. So it plots up. And you plotting is... it's it, That's a little scary, right? Plus two on the Golden Ghost slot. But I think we just double down at this point. Because they're going to go into Fluttermane. So they have to double Ghost up. Good thing I did not bring my Konomo. Because Konomo is just terrible. From here, we're just gonna Flare Blitz, and I mean, if you don't protect, I would love to Heavy Slam and just KO this thing. So let's see, I could see a Terra type from Golden Go here. The best possible play for opponent would be Terra Golden Go and protect Fluttermane. But they end up protecting Fluttermane, and it's gotta be double protect, right? No, it's not. So cool. Good thing we got Heavy Slam. See you later, Fluttermane. Beautiful. Double protect would've hurt my soul, because they would've wasted out a Trick turn. And they would have just read our moves. So that's big time. No double protect. We love it. But what what I was gonna say would be their best possible situation in that in that turn right there would to be to rasalize the gold to go and protect the flare. The Sift Tree comes out here, ready to fake out my Pokemon. And this is where I just protect you and I try to go for a drain punch into Sift Tree. Because chances are he's faking out the the, uh, the Arcanine more so than the the Iron Hands, right? It just makes the most sense with Gold to go in the field. And now you're not even going for a fake out. What are you doing? You're not even going for a fake out. That's fine. That's cool. I get a free KO. So we're thriving here in match number two. Did not even get to use our Ogre Pine yet. We didn't even get to use our Ogre Pine. And we're just whipping up on here. So I end up protecting. I got Assault Vest on my Iron Hands. You should be able to eat up one of these. Actually, you're plus two. You certainly do. Beautiful. Nice little resistance there. And you get a crit. Come on, man. That's too easy. And now, I believe Trick Room turns... Yeah, do end. Making Arcanine faster than Gold to go again. So that's beautiful. So from here, I do that. And I go for a Wild Charge. And they cancel battle. And we sweep here in match number two. Back-to-back -back wins. Let's go hop to a third. Look for that perfect record. Match number three is on its way, and we are just lighting up the casual ladder right now. We dominated in match number one with Konamo, and then we played super, super well with our team in match number two. But we're hopping into our third and final match, and we're going up against a Polyrath team. And Polyrath is another Pokemon that I really want to showcase. Same thing with Trevenant. They have that Pokemon as well, but they're also rocking out with Halucha. They got the Talonflame. They got the Belly Bull and the Mammoth Swarm. So from here, I'm going to go Konamo, and I'm going to go Clefairy. I'm just going to follow me shots, try to set up the Clangor Soul, and kind of just get going from there. 
Then in the back end, we'll bring in the Sinisha, we'll have double support, and we'll have Wellspring Ogre Pond. So we'll have our main attackers with Konomo'o and Ogre Pond, and then two support Pokemon to kind of help negate some damage coming across onto the other Pokemon. So pretty big, pretty big, but looking for that perfect record for you guys. You guys already know what's up. But seriously, huge shout out to all my viewers who actually make it to the third and final battle. If you do make it to the third and final battle, let me get a hashtag third and final battle in the comment section down below. That'll let me know who watches the videos all the way through, and I really appreciate you guys. So huge shout out to all you guys. But let's see, they end up going into Polyrath and Trevenant. That's not too bad for me. I kind of don't mind this lead at all. And Pyrath just looks sick. It looks so cool. But I'm going to go into Clangor Soul here. I'm going to follow me all the shots. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. And actually, Clefairy works super well with Konamo. Especially, I didn't even realize this, but... Say your opponent pops Trick Rooms. And we have this combo out on field. Clefairy is slow enough to just pop after use to allow Konomo'o to go first, or any other Pokemon besides it. So I actually really like that. So I get off the Clanger Soul, boosting all my stat boost. And I could just swap into the Macha Pokemon too, but I think just following me is going to be your play. Just keep following me and let Konomo'o do work. So I go plus one on all of my boosts. I lose one third of my HP, pop third spray, now plus two on special attack. Dynamic Punch comes out here, and luckily we dodge that. That's kind of a scary move right there. Trevenant's gonna go for a Wilderness, but that's fine. The Fairy is gonna be able to soak. I think we just follow me and we just start popping Clangers or Clanging Scales now. <coughs> See, this match, this match seems like we got this one, right? Right, this one, this one screams like perfect record. So from here, Clanging Scales can come out here. We're gonna do that, and on top of that, let's just keep going for the. Oh, I could go Helping Hand. I could go follow me, but I'd rather go help a hand. I'd rather do as much damage as I possibly can. See, Clefairy's real nice. Pairs up well. So I'm gonna go help a hand here. Get the times 1.3 multiplier cooking. And I'm gonna go for the climbing scales. Double hitting move and double KO. Beautiful. So good call for me to go into the helping hand rather than the follow me. I think I could just do that again, right? I think I could just do that again and just clean up this match. Trevenant goes down, Polyrath goes down, and Kodomo is just lighting it up. Come on, man. That's too easy. It's too easy, man. It's too easy. If you guys are a member to the Jeans YouTube channel, make sure you guys give me a little bit of That's Too Easy LeBron James emote in the comment section down below. And if you're not a member and want to consider becoming a member, there should be a join button next to the subscribe button. And if it's not there, there's a link down in the description below to become a member. Huge shout out to all my members. Thank you guys for the extra support. <coughs> A Belly Bolt comes out here alongside with Mamo Swine, and from here it's just a simple clanging scales alongside with Helping Hand. Real simple. I kind of wish we had the Dragon Terror type on this team too, just to get that extra boost of damage. But yeah, I mean you got Third Spray, you got all the uh, stat boost, Helping Hand. I feel like that's plenty of damage boost. So Helping Hand comes out here. Clanging scales gonna come out here. Base 110 damage. It's stab. We got the plus two special attack boost, and there it is. That's how you win matches in three turns you set up the clanger soul then you just help him hand clanging scales all day and there it is sweet 3-0 sometimes the casual ladder is just too easy just like in today's video it was way too easy we went 3-0 actually our first two matches we had to earn that we 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 had to play really well in our first match but the third and final match was just too easy we set up the clanger souls clanging scaled away and it was just game from there but i forgot the first two matches were pretty hard and we actually played really well in today's video showcasing konamo and wellspring ogre pond to their fullest potential but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody